Okay, today we're going to make the easiest peanut brittle in the microwave. First thing we do is start with one cup of sugar. I'm just keeping it in this bag because I've been using it every day and it's almost gone. So we have one cup of sugar. Then we take one half cup of Cairo syrup. I like to use the name brand because if you want it to taste good, you don't want to use cheap things. So a half a cup of Cairo syrup and you just dump it on top. And you have to make peanut brittle on a cold day. Some people say that's silly, but always works best for me that way. Then you just stir it around, try to incorporate it a little bit. You don't have to be real picky. That's all you gotta do right there. Then we're gonna microwave this for four minutes. Don't open the microwave or anything. Just, I have a thousand watt microwave. So hopefully that's what you have. All right, so that was in the microwave for four minutes. Now all we do is take one heaping cup of peanuts, dump them in, stir it up a little bit, scrape the sides down, try to get all your peanuts off the spoon, and put it back in the microwave for three minutes. This really is the easiest peanut brittle you're ever going to make. Okay, we're back with the no-fail peanut brittle. So now we put in I'll just put the butter in first. Just like one teaspoon, tablespoon, it doesn't matter. I don't like to use very much. Then I use this cap to measure the vanilla and I always let it pour a little extra. So I'd say that might be a teaspoon and a half maybe, I don't know. And then we're done again. And you just scrape off all your nuts. You have to work pretty quick though. So if you end up with some left over, you just do. Back to the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, now we're at the very last step and you have to move kind of quick. Get you a teaspoon of baking soda, dump it in there. It'll start to foam up now. It looks like you might be done, but nope, it starts foaming up and foaming up. You have to move pretty quick. The more you beat it, the thinner it will be. My family kind of likes it thick and airy and easy to chew, so I don't beat it down too much. And then try to scrape as much as you can towards the front of your bowl, and then dump it on a greased cookie sheet, but not, it doesn't have to be real greasy. It's hard really to get all this out. That's probably the hardest part of the whole thing. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, don't waste that. But we're trying to do this video so we won't get too particular. All right, we'll just quit there. And then the next thing is to just let this run down the pan. Run, 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 run. It's not going to hurt anything if it starts coming apart. And then turn it this way and let it run this way. You can shake it around if you want. There it goes. The more you can get it to run before it starts setting up, the more peanut brittle you'll have and the thinner it'll be. See how it starts getting thick and gluppy? Eventually that'll fall. Here it comes. And then we'll turn him this way for a little bit. And then I set this out on a nice little table I have out on the back porch when it's cold. You have to make it when it's cold. I also have a room in the back of the house where I put my candy. I keep the register off back there so it stays cold. But I like setting it outside on a cold day. So I think we're just about done. You can play with it forever, but like I said, my family kind of likes it thick and airy, so I'm going to quit here and set it out there. So that is the no-fail peanut brittle, and it's very easy to make. It takes eight and a half minutes in the microwave total. So, there we go.
Okay, we hope that you enjoyed our easy peanut brittle no-fail recipe. We hope that your family enjoys it as well. So this is us just finishing up the recipe. My mom was sharing here that she knows this is going to make you cringe. However, it just is simple and it's easy and well, we like simple and easy around here. So you just slam that little dude down on the countertop and break it up and then you just take a knife and start chopping it. She said, don't worry, the tip of the knife is not going to break off. It's a nice quality knife and she's used it for years. So you just make this into the pieces that will fit best into your candy dish and look out. You're going to have over a pound of easy, no fail peanut brittle that your family is sure to love in no time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with somebody who might want to make some peanut brittle this year.